the Oracle Coalesce function. The Coalesce function returns the first value from the supplied values that is not null. It's a great function for checking multiple values to see if they're null. The syntax of this function contains a list of expressions. The first expression is the one to check for null. If it is not null, this expression is returned. Then it checks a second expression. If that's not null, it's returned. You can then keep adding expressions into this function to be checked for null values. But the first non-null value is actually returned. You can find out more about this function by clicking on the link in the description. But for now, let's look at some examples. For this example, we're going to use our customers table, which you can see the data for here. The first example is where we run the coalesce function on the first name and then last name columns. This will actually look for the first name value. If it's not null, it will return first name. But if it's null, it will return the last name value. You can see in all instances, it has returned the first name because none of those values are null. Now this example here looks at the country value. If that's null, it will return the last name value. You can see in this case, all of the values returned are country, except this value here, which had a null value of country and then returned the last name column. The third example takes in three parameters. It will look at the first name and then the last name and then the country. We also have a where clause, so we get only a single row. This example here uses a coalesce function with multiple values. One of those values is a clob value. Let's see what happens. You can see we get an error because this full address field is actually a clob value and it's not supported in the coalesce function. This example here will perform a coalesce function on a series of null values and then we've specified the first name, another series of null values and then the last name. Let's see what happens. You can see in all instances it's picked up the first name value. This is because the first name was the first one specified and once it finds a non-null value it will stop running the rest of the comparisons. Let's see what happens when we provide it with an empty string. You can see that empty strings are treated in the same way as a null value. In this case it's returned the first name. Let's look at the start date column which is a date data type and if that's null we're going to return the sysdate. You can see in this example all of the start dates are returned. For the value that's null it was translated to sysdate which is today's date. Now this example looks at using the coalesce function in the where clause. We're going to select the country, the length of that country and the number of employees. In the where clause we have where coalesce and then employees and then if that's null we're going to say length of country and then based on that entire condition we're going to check if it's greater than 4. As you can see here it's returned values where we have the length of country here and the number of employees but where the number of employees is null it's actually checked for the length of the country. So you can actually use the coalesce function in the where clause.